So there we go. Um, yeah, a few minutes on the topic of overloading. So overloading is um, a great feature, and its use is encouraged in C++, uh, not least of all um, in the core guidelines, where they say that like, having different names, like not overloading, like having different names for logically equivalent operations is actually confusing. And it leads to encoding type information in function names and inhibits generic programming. Now, there's another great feature of C++, and that's the ability to call straight into C functions. And there's a kind of a mismatch here, because C has no support for overloading. And in our code base, we often find ourselves, like we use a few different C libraries, and we find ourselves confronted with this kind of API, where you know, in these C functions, the type information has been encoded in the function names. And we don't want to be resolving this at every call site. And we want to kind of encapsulate this in some way and treat it as if it was uh, sort of an overload set in C++. So like conceptually, we want something along these lines here. Uh, and the question is like how to implement this, but not like how do we re-implement function overloading in our C++ code, because we already have a compiler that can do this. So what we're asking is like, how can we get the compiler to do this for us, even though all these functions have different names? So the goal is to be able to call a function like this. And in some way, we've got to communicate to the compiler like what um, functions do we want to consider as part of an overload set or you know, the, our kind of simulated overload set. So I'm envisaging something like this, some kind of function. Uh, I've given it the name overloads. And it, as arguments, it takes the set of functions that I want to sort of simulate an overload set with. And it returns some kind of callable thing so that when I invoke um, the function with some arguments, um, the correct C function is called under the hood. And so how do we implement overloads? Well, overloads is a function template, which takes an arbitrary number of C functions as arguments. And the first thing it does with those C functions is it wraps each individual one in a std function. And I'll come back to this in a, in a moment. Uh, but for now, we use std function. So each C function gets wrapped in a std function, and they all get passed along to the constructor of a type that I've called overload set. An overload set is what we're returning from this function. So this is this uh, invocable thing, this callable thing. And the question is, how do we implement overload set? So overload set is a class template which derives from the types of all the std functions that we just passed along from the overloads function. So that's what we're seeing here. And then here we can see that in the constructor of overload set, we're just forwarding all the instances of std function along to all the base classes. So they're all initialized. And then finally, in this line here, we can see this C++17 feature, which uh, you may be familiar with for in connection with like std variant and std visit. It often turns up in that, uh, in that context, where we're essentially taking the function call operator from each of the base classes and dragging it into overload set. So the overload set has got a function call operator for each of the original C functions that we specified. And so now, if we call the function call operator of overload set, normal C++ overload resolution kicks in and chooses the correct overload for us. So in just a few lines of code, this solves the problem. For, the, um, for completeness sake, this, if you implement it this way, you do actually need to provide a deduction guide, which looks like that. Um, and I said I'd come back to the choice of using std function. Um, std function is not actually the right abstraction for this. It's much too heavyweight. We don't need to own anything. We just need to refer to existing C functions. And what we could really do with is a std function ref. Unfortunately, there is no std function ref in the standard library at the moment. Uh, Vittorio Romeo is trying to get this standardized, um, and I'm looking forward to that being in the standard. But in the meantime, we have to either live with std function or write our own. Or as I've done here, I've taken an implementation that exists online. Um, Cybrand has an implementation on the Tartan Llama GitHub repository, and that works a treat. Um, yeah, so you can try it out under this compiler explorer link, and that's all I've got. Thank you.